All right, before giving your child the keys to your car, which may be kind of scary, uh, <laughs> you probably spoke to your teen about driver safety, but that conversation doesn't need to end once you hand over the keys following that discussion. It is a continuing yes. conversation, don't you think? Well, it is National Teen Driver Safety Week, and News 3's Danielle Seda shows us some talking points for parents and peers. There's a lot of ways to crash a car. Distracted driving, impaired driving, and speeding, to name a few. But it's not just your life that can be impacted. But after being on the road for a few years, some drivers might not realize that they may be putting the lives of their peers in danger by putting too many people in the back seat of their car at one time. For the last 15 years, National Team Driver Safety Week has sparked the conversation of what ifs between parents and peers. And this year, it happens to fall on a special week for some universities. It's also homecoming this week, so we've got a lot of people back on campus, a lot of activities going on this week. It's very exciting. But sometimes too much excitement can distract from safe driving. Liza Fritz-Patrick is a senior at Christopher Newport University. She's also an advocate for students against drunk driving. She says she's no stranger to car accidents. She was a family friend. Uh, she was driving home from Virginia Tech, uh, and she unfortunately was in a fatal crash. Having something like that kind of put in perspective, you know, wow, like she was really young, like, you know, it can happen in an instant. And when there's big events on campus, it can be a cause for concern. With partying, people will go out, they'll drink with their friends. The National Road Safety Foundation found that in 2020, more than 52,000 people in the United States had serious injuries from crashes. In Virginia that same year, the foundation says more than 800 people died in a car crash. Mom Michelle Anderson says this week provides an opportunity for parents and teens to have a heart to heart. We like to encourage parents to be a good role model. We ask parents to make sure that they are buckling up. They're powering down when they get in their vehicles because what they do behind the wheel is exactly what their teen driver is going to do. And doing small things like getting a ride home if you've been drinking or installing a driving safety function on your phone make a big difference. In Newport News, Danielle Seda, News 3. Let us now turn our attention to the forecast.